In this photograph, you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I put a little watermark in there. It has my name, Colin Smith, PhotoshopCafe.com. Now, I do that for two reasons. I usually put this on images that I'm going to share on social media or I'm going to post online. And the reason for that is, one, if people see the photograph and they can see who shot it, and they can also see how to get in contact with me. So if someone wants to license the photograph um, or have permission to use it or maybe contact me to take some photographs for them, they can easily find me. The other reason is for content marketing. When you share your images online, you want people to see who it was that took it and also I'm driving traffic to PhotoshopCafe.com. So, you know, whatever reason you have for doing your watermarks, I'm going to show you how to set up Lightroom to do watermarks automatically. So under Lightroom here, we can go under the Edit Settings here, and then we can go under Edit Watermarks. And uh, currently right now, if you look under the Custom field here, it just says Custom. I have one watermark I've created right there, ColinSmithPhotoshopCafe.com. It's pretty similar to what was already on that photograph. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go back to... Um, well, actually, it doesn't really matter. We can just leave it there because we're just going to create a new one right now. So we can do either text or graphic, and you see that's a text one, and we'll come to that in a sec, but why don't we try graphic one? So when I clicked on graphic, it gave me the option there. Let me just hit cancel there to choose an image. So I could click choose or I could cl click graphic. Either way, it's going to open up the finder, and it's going to take me to find my images. So I'm going to go here, and I have a PNG right there of my logo, and I'm just going to click choose. And notice what it does is it just pops that logo right there in the corner. Now I'm gonna, I can drag this around if I want. So I can literally go in there, I can change the size of it by dragging it. So we can make it large or small. And here's a great thing, if you use a PNG or a ping and you export it from Photoshop with transparency enabled, you can actually have something like a signature, an autograph, you could do any kind of graphic that you want, a logo, whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna make this logo just a little bit bigger. There we go. And uh, so what we're going to do is, under the settings here, you'll notice that this is not right in the edge, because actually, by default, it will start right there against the edge at zero. So what you can do is you can choose the inset. So we can choose to move it in a little bit and up a little bit. We can anchor it to any corner inside the image, or we can anchor it to the sides there, or if you want to be really obnoxious, you can pop it right in the middle. And I know a lot of people will do that. They'll put in a, a big watermark right in the middle like that, and then take the opacity and drop it down quite low. And then what it does is it um, really protects that image. It's a little difficult to enjoy the image like that, but if you're really, really about protecting it, that's a good way to do it. So the other way is we can change the size right here. And, uh, and we can do it to fit, or we can do it to fill. So if you really want to get crazy, you can. I like to do proportional, so that means proportional to the size of the image that I'm using, that watermark is going to come out. So let's go up and have a look at some of the other settings. Right there, we chose the image. Then we came down here, we're setting the opacity. And uh, I'm keeping mine right there. And then what we can do is we can decide which corner we want to anchor it to, or you know, if we want to put it in there. Maybe I'll anchor this one to the top left corner. And um, that's what we've got essentially there. So if I want to save this as a watermark, I can actually do that now. I can go under here and I can save the current settings as a new preset. And I'm going to call this logo top left and hit create. So now if I want to access this one, I can at any time I can simply access it from here. So now there's other places uh, we can go here. I'm going to go under text. Let's create a new text one now. So notice here it says Colin Smith Photoshop Cafe.com. And I'll just keep that type. I'm actually pretty good with that. We can choose our font, the size of the font. Where do we want to align it? Do we want to center it? Do we want to do it right? Well, how is that working? Well, that's if we have a couple of lines of text. So here's the Photoshop cup. Cafe Mantra is Create, Don't Steal. So now if we have this up there, we can see there it is there. And if we can do that left, we can do it center aligned, or we can do it right aligned. In fact, why don't I just make it a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm working on. So let's go here. We'll make this real big. There we go. And of course, we can change the color. If we want to make it black, we can make it black. We can make it gray. We can make it any color we want, but I'm just going to choose black right there. And if you want colors, you just pull that up and all your colors will be available in there. So um, what we're going to do is we can have that left centered 
or right aligned so you can see how that would work so let's have this one left aligned and um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off the create don't steal. I just want to have just the watermark right there. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to drop it down. So here's the thing you can do too is you can put a shadow on there. And uh, the offset will bring that shadow closer or further away. This is good if you're using white. Let me just choose a white one there real quick. And then what happens with that shadow, if you make the shadow quite dark, there we go, the opacity there and uh, make it quite strong it'll show up against a light or a dark background so it's kind of like what they do for um, text when they do it on television a lot but i'm going to just go back i want to make this one a black one i'm just going to select it there i'm going to turn the shadow off we're not going to have a shadow i'm going to make this one a little bit smaller let's make it quite small and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to position it on the bottom left and i've got it inset just a little bit let's inset it a little bit more and when I've got it set for proportional, if I have a large image, it's going to put it there. If I have a small image, it's going to put it there. So the watermark is going to stay proportional. So you're not going to have this huge watermark on a little image and a tiny one on a big image. This is more or less what it's going to look like at any size. And of course, you can rotate it. So if you want to put it up, going up this way instead, we could do that and have our text going um, vertical instead of horizontal. So that's another option here. And I'm just going to go back to there. And let me just make sure, I'm going to go into the size, make sure it's not back to front, which it is. So let's rotate that all the way around. There we go. So sometimes you have to get a little bigger to check. And now I'm just going to save this one off. So I'm going to hit the save button and I can create a preset this way as well. So you could either do it from here or just do it from the save button. And I'm going to do basic black. So that means if I'm working a light colored photograph, I can use that watermark. So now I've created all these watermarks. And there's different places you're going to use them. So you're going to find them um, when we're working on slideshows and books and different things like that. There's options to use the watermarks automatically, web, and also when we export. So if we're exporting our image and we want to send out our image somewhere, one of the options we have a lot is the watermark. And we see here's our watermarking here. Well, I guess we need to make sure we're doing something. I think this is the original. Yeah, you can't watermark an original. So let's make it a JPEG. And we click on the watermark, and now where's, there's our different watermarks we did. There's our logo, there's our black, and there's our white. So there's our basic watermarks there. And we can also, if we want, we can also edit our watermarks from here by hitting Edit Watermark, and it'll take us up to exactly the same options we had before. So let's go to the basic one. There it is right there. And if we want to save this, we can actually save this out with a different name. So we're going to... Uh, save the current setting as a new preset, and we're going to call it basic white. So now we know we've got that one set as a basic white. So you can see all the other options. But we don't need two basics, because now we've got one as basic, one as basic black. So let's just go back to the basic one, and then we're just going to delete that preset. So this is how you get rid of the presets there. And then we're going to hit save. Well, actually, we don't need to hit save. I'm sorry. We can just hit cancel, because we've done everything. So if we look under the watermarks now, You'll see the basics gone. We've got basic black, basic white, and then we've got the logo top left. So you can always go in and edit these at any time. If you wanted to put a logo at the bottom left, we choose the edit. We go down here. We select the logo, and then we just change where it's positioned. Go down to the anchor, hit the bottom left here, and now we can save this one out. So let's create another preset. Save so current settings as a new preset, and we're going to call this one logo bottom left so we hit create so there we go so once you've created a logo you can literally just go through and uh, and start playing around with it and changing the logo and creating new ones from it the other thing we've got this little button here if we want to actually go through the logos we can um, cycle through some different ones on there so anyway that's um, how we're working there with our logos and let's just click done and you'll see we can add them here that new one is there, logo top left, bottom left is right there. So um, we're just going to cancel that. And that's your watermarks.